Yo, never fear, Reggie. So we back with another video. What's up, guys? Today, I want to go over the mindset that you need to have to change and move forward. Change is inevitable. If you want to become a better version of yourself, a more loving version of yourself, the person you need to become, you know, through Christ, um, that he's called you to be, overall, that person with that purpose, you're going to have to jump. I always tell people, jumping is not as scary as it looks sometimes you got to that first step don't go your whole life thinking in your head or living in your head or assuming that you can't become the version of you that is the most successful the most wealthy the most attractive um all these things physically but they must first develop in the spirit understand that where you are now is not your end even as a baby you grow into an adult eventually right that's change uh, when you're a child, you learn it in school, and then when you, you go to college, if you go to college or get any type of higher education than a kindergartner, right, you develop mentally. Uh, emotionally, uh, even through trauma, if you heal through trauma, you can grow even through emotions. That is damage, emotional damage. So with that being said, change is inevitable. Don't let people tell you that change is not it's bad that's crazy seasons change today's change everything in time that was in the past we cannot get back so the only thing you can do if you were going forward here on out is to look at your own plate what can you do to better yourself and not take from people because when you try to take god will block it when you when you try to do evil things god will block it he will never bless miss right that saying is very true what can you do today to become a better better version of you don't look at other people and say, oh, I want that spot. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> don't hate on people. Don't be envious. Don't be jealous. And the reason why you shouldn't be those things is because once those things start seeping down in your heart, in your mind, right now, guys, a lot of people don't want to do these certain things because of pride. If you was to take your time and think, how hateful have I been today? How arrogant have I been? How prideful have I been? Have I did anything productive for me? Have I did something for me? Not a whole bunch of activity that you got to do. You said to yourself, what is my outcome? Have I did something for me? Have I put out a piece of content? Okay, did I smile more? Did I, you know, whatever it is that will help you become a better version of you today. Did you do that? Did you put in that work? Now do that consistently. Don't hate on people. Don't, don't be envious. Don't be jealous. Don't be all these things because it's not going to help you. It's going to keep you stuck. Okay? Trauma keeps you stuck. Pain keeps you stuck. People become great figures in this life because they don't let life get them down. Because they start to see what life is. Start seeing what life is. If you have people in your friend group that's not on the same thing as you are, that doesn't mean you don't love them. But you must grow. They can't grow for you. I can't grow for you. But I can do what I need to do to help my own situation and maybe do what I do best, put out content and maybe it help you. Right. So at the end of the day, guys, look at where you are today. Do you want to be a better version of yourself? Maybe your mindset ain't on growth right now. Maybe you ain't trying to hear Reggie uncut out when it comes to these things, but eventually you will. And when those times come, you will understand that you need to jump. We trailblaze the paths that we truly, truly desire to end up being at right in these seasons certain people cannot come in your life viewer depend on your season because god is calling you higher to help more do more be more it's not about the position about what it looks like because here's the thing when god gives a certain person something that means they can handle it what i got is no one else can have what someone else got i can't have that's just how it is and people like to take things you can't take an anointing of God, you can't take a position. You need to build correctly. Get your finances in order, get your personal growth development, get that spiritual growth development. Do these things and you will ultimately see yourself become a version of you that is the most wealthy, that is the most attractive, that is the most God-fearing, and you will be a, be a blessing. You'll be blessed and you will be a blessing to others. Okay? That come on your path that is worthy to be on your path. So with that being said, and Reggie, genuine love and the love of Christ, keep going. Let's get it.